Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. It is not often a promo Friday that we're more excited for an evolution that's coming over the full promo release itself. And it seems today that that might be the case. But what does it mean for the market today? If we get an insane Evo, is that going to make some prices crash? How is this new team going to come into packs? What leaks do we have for Ultimate Dynasty? We are going to cover all that and more in today's video. There's a lot going on today, a lot going down. So if you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Also, if I seem a little bit low energy, I am a little bit under the weather. I think I got whatever Nick run the foot market had. He passed it to me through the screen or through Ultimate Team, man. Jokes aside, um, uh, we're feeling okay and we'll see about a stream today. So just want to give you guys an update today for like, Nate, you sound different today. It's because I do. All right, let's get into things with yesterday's content because actually EA dropped a banger day yesterday when it comes to the player SBCs, especially with the Adama Traore that we were looking for and he's an okay price he's got the of course what is this not the accelerate it's the quick step which makes acceleration faster quick step plus he's got rapid and flare as EA said he's a right wing back massive boost the shooting passing defense as well but he can also play right mid right wing and striker so a lot of people are doing this SBC though boys for the vibes Adama Traore is just different in game I'm not against you doing this SBC I don't think it's going to be the most meta card in the world. It just looks like it could play right wing back, but it looks like it could also play a ton of different places too. So for 131,000 coins, it's not bad, but it's one that I wouldn't prioritize first. I think there's other ones that I would prioritize first. Maybe like Ben Acer. This guy, I'm going to call him the budget De Young. He doesn't have the Travella like De Young has, and he doesn't upgrade. He's not live, but this is a really, really good SPC. It's only one squad. He's got Tiki Taka Plus, which is supposed to be meta in this new patch and in this new update 85 rated and an inform it's not bad it's 40k if you run a Serie A team that is a card that you must have you got to get in honestly this is going to be one of the best midfielders in the uh, Serie A for 70k is how much this costs right now and technically when I look at this card he might be available for an evolution down the line probably a couple months away but he would lose his radioactivity chemistry links then two great player species though there's not much else to say GG's EA for that content. Of course, we had marquee matchups as well. I think some prices did move up. Check your club for some of the clubs that are inside of there. There are prices moving. Now, let us move on and talk about something that is coming today. Let's start with today before content because we have some player of the months coming today, guys. First of all, Dybala has won the Serie A player of the month for November, and he is getting an SBC. And I actually think this graphic is wrong. I think that he should be... 89 rated because if they go a plus one over his latest inform he would be 89 rated i hope this has a four star weak foot boost if they give him a four star weak foot boost that would be incredible this card has flare plus which is what his inform has as well i wouldn't mind if they gave him a little like finesse plus he's got finesse already maybe trivella plus if they change up his play style if they make it cheap player of the months have been good lately right they've been pretty solid in terms of the price so i hope it's less than 100k 89 rated and with a good play style. Again, if you're going to have Ben Acer and Dybala in a team, that seems like a pretty wombo combo if the Dybala looks good today. And if you're running a Serie A squad, might be some upgrades coming for you. Now, the big player of the month today is Harry Maguire. It is true. He is coming today as an SBC, probably an hour or so before content, maybe two hours. We'll see when they drop it. Expectations are very high for this SBC, guys. I mean, the concept that's been tweeted out, this is what everybody wants today. If it's not this good... Or maybe if it is this good, but expensive, I think there's a there's a decent likelihood that people could be underwhelmed today. Again, really what we're going to learn today is if EA is going to give this big of a boost to Maguire, he's probably not supposed to be getting any promo cards soon. That's kind of how they work these things, at least in my opinion. If he has an insane boost today, there's probably not a promo Harry Maguire coming in the near future. But that's an SBC that people are already investing a little bit for. I've even watched Christian Eriksen's card slowly rise up in price. He's almost 34,000 coins. He's risen since yesterday where he was 30,000 coins because people are expectant of a really good Maguire player of the month. If that's really good value, it could crash some center back prices from the Premier League. So be a little bit careful with that. They've been dropping good value play of the month again. So we'll see what they do. Now let's get to the promo itself. This is the full list of ultimate dynasty cards that are supposed to be coming today. It doesn't look that pretty, but it's all the cards on one page from Maldini to Rivaldo to Haji to Zidane to the Teo and Lucas Hernandez brothers to Ram Hoyland. I don't think we have any new leaks apart from actually we have Larson. Larson Icon and his son. This card actually looks pretty good. He's got some pretty good play styles. So watch out for that one. Again, like we mentioned yesterday, we have two big questions with this promo. How will EA boost the cards? And in turn, how packable will they be? I just have to imagine that some of these players 
from like Oberdorf's, uh, Oberdorf's, the, the women's player, her brother. Like, I just feel like he's going to be maybe low rated and also really packable. Like, these guys are from some leagues that actually could benefit from the radioactive chemistry. That's the second question. Will EA improve the chemistry links at all? I hope they do. Still wondering what these gems, if it's the family jewels, okay. But whatever these triangles are, if they mean something, they better tell us and we better know. That would be like something that could spice today up and make it really, really interesting. But it's a promo team, man, with some cards that haven't gotten items yet. Timber in there, of course. Mendy, Teo Hernandez, Holland. We actually have some official stats of some of these players already leaked. There's probably going to be more coming today. Erling Holland's going to be the same rating as his Road to the Knockouts card, but he does get a different playstyle plus. I think that might make him pretty overpowered on headers, getting aerial. I mean, he's already tall, and with great heading, he's going to be pretty insane. So that's going to be an expensive card, but it kind of shows that they may not be boosting the top tier cards in this promo that much. But what you do see here is an objective leak. This is the official objective from Rick on Twitter. He's got the objective spot on the past couple of weeks and a lot of times this year. Left wing Daniel Maldini. Official stats and rating. 85 rating with 91 pace, 91 dribble. And to complete this card... You actually have to use a version of him, whether it's a loan version, which I would imagine they would just give us like a silver card of his. Like he has a silver base card that I think is expensive on the market right now because everybody has seen this leak and they're going out and buying this card. Where is Daniel Maldini? Can I take a look at this card? 66 rated. He is got a haircut since he got his uh, last picture as well. 5.4K. Okay, there's an undercut at three. So he's up a lot, but that is the leak there for his card. We'll see. We'll see what the skills weak foot are. Might be a decent objective, but I think they're going to have to give us Maldini for it to work because if they're requiring a player like that, they're going to have to give him out. Also, they give out 84 times for it. That might be worth grinding. So that's a nice objective, especially with the Maldini links. And then here's the official Zidane card. Plus three defending. He's got the incisive pass, playstyle plus, going on plus one overall. Maldini's getting plus two pace and going with slide tackle, playstyle plus. So those are the overall cards, official stats that we have right now for the Ultimate Dynasties promo now let's move on to the big thing the real hype the evolution guys this leak came out yesterday and instantly as everybody saw it maybe you saw it it's been circling there's been a lot of hype and a lot of market movements from this rashford's gold card is not on the market it is not the only version of rashford on the market right now is his centurion's version which is shown in this picture we do not know guys anything about this evolution yet besides these are the requirements pretty easy to hit and also pretty high 85 overall, 90 pace, 88 dribbling, and 85 physical with max 8 play styles. You can put a really good player in here. Some examples, right? Marcus Rashford. People are envisioning that you'll be able to upgrade him as much as this Centurion's card, which I think is probably too good to be true, but we'll see. Also, Sobasly, Raheem Sterling, Kingsley Coman. Some of those cards. Sobasly and Sterling Informs are also extinct. I think Coman is going up in price a lot as well. There's a ton of left mid and left wings that are flying because of this leak. Now, Again, like I said, this is all that we know right now. So investing in this stuff, if you have a Maldini, or sorry, if you have a Rashford, I would sell it because, guys, this evolution looks like it's going to be cracked. It also means it's probably going to be expensive, but also it might not be expensive and it might not give that good of an upgrade. I would say, again, we point back to times in the past, nine times out of 10, when there is a leaked evolution like this and prices go bananas, you got to sell in the hype because prices after the evolution comes out drop hard so we just it could be very expensive like if it's going to be a big boost and you're going to be able to make a rashford card like this it might be the most expensive evo that we've had yet maybe 250k maybe 300 who knows maybe a lot of games as well but at the same time we'll have to see right there's a lot of unknowns with that now one thing i want to mention is could this crash the market and i want to jog your memory think back to the evolution centurions box to box on a promo friday for centurions when everybody went out and bought your rente and shall many Crystal Dunn and a lot of others, and everybody was paying, what is that, like 150k for that Centurion's box to box for this, this card that like everybody uses now. If that sort of thing happens today, if they make the evolution maybe a decent amount of work, but an insane upgrade, like if you can make that Rashford look anywhere near close to his uh, Centurion's card, or if you can make this Suba slide go up like plus twos, plus threes, and plus fours, and it's maybe not even that much of work. If it does cost something, it could impact the market because there's so many great players in here and there could actually be a crash of the left mids and left wings. And since it's a paid Evo, if it's paid and has a lot of hype, it could also cause a crash on the rest of the market. I don't know if you guys remember, but when we had that Yorente Evo, like the market in, in itself entirely crashed, like not just center mids and right backs, but literally like everything. So I think there's a possibility for that today. It's all going to depend on how expensive the evolution is 
and how much hype it has versus how much work you have to do for it. So maybe go on Footbin, Footwiz, Foot.gg and try to scout out what card you maybe want to put into this. There's a lot of hype for this too because already Evo players like Denjuma, um, Foundations, I think is what it is. Founders Evo, not Foundations. The, the, the Danjuma card that a lot of people did at the early part of the game can actually fit into this, which is pretty insane. There's a lot of cards that can fit, and there might be a lot of insane ones. That's why the hype is high. Now, let's talk about the market a little bit, specifically with these radioactive cards. If content today, if the new promo team isn't that good, and if the Evo kind of sucks as well, then there could be some movements today. There could be some cards that rise from here. Last night, I was looking at Zaha. I bought a couple of him at 67 to 68,000 coins. Sold most of them. I think I'm stuck with one of them. Sold most of them for 75k before marquee matchups. And he is now back down. The reason I sold him was because I saw that leak and I was like, wait a second. He's a left mid left wing. If there's an Evo that's coming out for that exact same position, that could be really hyped. I don't want to have this card. So I sold it. And uh, if the Evo is really good, it could drop him. It could make Parasitch drop. Some of these cards though, if the content is just mid, could be good risers out of packs. We will have to see. Watch the Ericsson. Watch the Taliska. Watch some of the rare cards like Araujo, Benzema, Conte, Messi, uh, even Nani, right? I know Nani's got left wing, but that's a really cheap card that a lot of people like to use because you can link it with basically anybody. And that's a good looking card. Maserawi is really rare too. So I'm not going to really invest in too many of these cards today or the Thunderstrucks, to be honest. But if you're wanting to look a safer place on the market, I would watch Thunderstruck cards today and FC Pro Lives because those are live cards that are going towards their upgrades. If there are items that are low, if they drop with any of the content today, bar maybe a left wing like Anzu Fati. If he drops today, that could still be a good buy. He's getting upgrades, but just be careful with these uh, and their movements. If there's panic though, there could be some opportunities to flip them uh, regardless of position because they're hyped and they're rare. Same thing with the FC Pro Live cards. Keep an eye on the ones specifically that play this this Monday, which is Delhi, Kulabali, Ogbana. Oh, who else? Um, I think Caballero and Simakan. I think they all play and Lozano all play. I think that's five, right? I think they all play on Monday. So watch those cards too. They'll be interesting to keep an eye on this weekend. Fodder, of course, we really expect fodder to drop. I've sold all of my fodder, 88 to 26, 27K. I've got them out. 86s have been crazy high because the 84.3 sell that. The only thing about today is, and I almost forgot about this, is that the base icon and the base hero player pick are refreshing. So there will be a little bit of demand today. I don't think I want to trade inside of it, though. 88s did go up last week. 89s have gone up in the past week because of these two. And some of the lower-rated fodder has risen, too. But with lightning rounds coming today and also some really insane packs still added to the code that I want to show you guys, just a reminder, yes, these are untradeable packs, but people might be spending coins on store packs today, guys, with special icons and packs, other special players. The card design is pretty cool. Read this. Elite Dynasties pack contains two dynasties players they're going to be able to give us the opportunity to pack the current promo team in packs guaranteed it's a guaranteed dynasty player pack with a 30 rare golds rated 81 or above 387 pluses that's going to be an expensive pack but it's going to be a pack that a lot of people want to do and it gets even better supreme dynasties pack this might not come out till saturday or sunday 70 rare golds all 83 or above with 587 pluses crazy packs in the store some of them guaranteeing the dynasties items so keep a close eye out for that that could impact the market today. I mean, we expect a market crash sometime in December. I don't know when it's going to be. It's all going to depend on the content today. If it's super duper hyped, if it makes people want to go spend coins on Evo or spend coins on a store pack, that could impact the market and make some prices go down. It wouldn't be a crazy drop in one day. It would probably just be a nice steady drop over maybe the week. We'll have to see. Again, it just depends on the content. Really quick to end off the video. This right here. A lot of people were telling me, Nate, the what if promo is next. I, I disagree. This is not the what if card design. This is a mislabel from EA who put this in the code under the wrong name. Uh, this is actually the Beats Pro Holland card that we're going to get on Sunday. So that is that. And we just had some UWCL, UCL, UEFA, and Conference League Team of the Tournament card designs added to the code. So that is a confirmation, hopefully of a promo to come in the next couple of weeks. I was hoping to see Team the Tournament, and it looks like we might be getting it. So that's the leaks and everything going on right now in this game. We're going to break down tomorrow, the content, everything that happens today on Friday. Good luck out there on the market. Good luck with your foot champs. I will hopefully be playing foot champs this weekend to get myself that 16-win threshold and to get the, um, the, the red Evo card. I'm in the middle of qualifiers right now. It was a rough one yesterday. Also, big account update. We finished 
the main man himself, Kylian Mbappe, and he is the truth. Four goals, four games and 12 goals, and honestly, the gameplay was horrific. So I'm excited to lock this card in for the team for literally almost the rest of the year. I'm also working on an Evo right now for Jobain Cabral. Relentless winger and pacey winger combination right there could be pretty good. So that's an update on the accounts, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys today on the stream. I'll keep you updated on Twitter, see how I'm feeling, see how I'm doing. Maybe a short one, we'll have to see. So stay tuned there. That link's down below in the description. If you want the stream link, that is down below in the description as well. But it's been Nathan Foot Account. If you enjoyed this video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. Subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in at least a video tomorrow. That's the hope. Peace. Out.